Welcome to this tutorial on sound. Sound is moving energy that travels as a pattern of changing pressure. Sound needs a medium in which to propagate and can travel through gases, liquids and solids but not in a vacuum which explains why there is no sound in space. It is essential to understand that sound is not a thing in itself but a property of the medium through which it is travelling. It is common to characterise sound as a vibration, but this can cause confusion. It is true to say that a source must vibrate to create a sound wave, but it is better to think of the sound wave itself as a moving pattern of alternating high and low pressure energy. Because most of the sound that we hear arrives at our ears through the air, it is most useful to study the theory of air pressure sound waves. The air that surrounds us is made of particles known as air molecules. It is not important to know what these molecules are made of. Air pressure is a measure of how tightly packed together these air molecules are. In other words, the air density. When an object vibrates, such as a guitar string, and sound is created, the surrounding normal atmospheric air pressure is temporarily disturbed. Incidentally, normal atmospheric pressure depends on altitude. The higher you move through the atmosphere, the more spread apart the air molecules become and the lower the density and therefore the lower the normal air pressure. In sound theory, changes to air pressure are measured in units called decibels. This is the amplitude, volume or loudness of the sound. Decibels are covered in a separate tutorial video. Sound is created when an object vibrates and disturbs the pressure of the surrounding air. Such an object is called the source. The source may be a loudspeaker, a drum, car engine or anything that makes a sound. As a model to aid understanding, it is helpful to define vibration as the repetitive expansion and contraction of a source. A cycle of vibration goes like this. Source starts at original size. Source expands and gets bigger. The source reaches maximum size, bigger than normal. The source contracts, gets smaller. The source returns to the original size. The source contracts and gets smaller than normal. The source reaches minimum size, smaller than normal. The source expands again and gets bigger. And finally, the source returns to its original size. As the source expands, it pushes the surrounding air molecules away, causing them to bunch together and the air pressure to increase. This is called compression. Next, as the source contracts, the air molecules rush in to fill the increasing space and the air pressure decreases. This is called rarefaction. As the source expands and contracts, a pattern of changing air pressure energy moves away from it. This pattern of air pressure energy is called a sound wave. It is important to understand that individual air molecules do not travel from the source to the listener's ear, but oscillate or vibrate back and forth around a fixed point, knocking against each other and thereby transferring the changing air pressure energy to one another. The script for this tutorial, with accompanying images, can be found at our website, projectstudiohandbook.com. And finally, don't forget to join our mailing list to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and subscriber-only extras. And also, subscribe at our YouTube channel and social media pages. Thanks very much for watching.